Oral and anal sex are properties of Jezebel the demon. Mrs. Edidiong comes from the Federal Republic of Nigeria and also a genuine born-again Christian who loves to please God in every area of her life. She was converted in the year 2012 through hearing some testimonies of heaven and hell. Although she came to the Lord out of fear of going to hell, she found joy in serving Him after she met Christ. She used to be a member of Christ Embassy Church. Later she switched to become a full member of the Apostolic Faith Church. Her husband also permitted her to follow her friend Omono who is a member of the Deeper Life Bible Church to their Monday Bible study where she eventually understood in the teaching of eternal security the danger of worldliness permitted in other churches and also understood the power in the blood of Jesus. The more she studied the Bible herself, the more she understood many hidden sins that she should repent from because she was never taught so in the past but with the help of God, she was able to finish up her Bible study. She also became a great preacher in her street through morning preaching and house-to-house -house evangelism. She never allowed that to hinder her duties as a wife. Mrs. Edidiong never stopped asking God in her prayers to review to her if there is still something in her life that she needs to repent from, anything in her life that can still take her to hell. She had so much desire to get to heaven at all cost. One evening, after repeating those prayers, she slept off after making love with her husband. After a while, she saw herself in the area where she normally stands to preach the gospel every morning. As she was preaching, a demon in the form of a woman appeared to her and grabbed her and put her in chains, dragging her. She rebuked the demon in the name of Jesus but the demon would not even listen to her. The demon started dragging her into an unknown destination, telling her she belongs to her and she must follow her to her kingdom. After she has rebuked her and prayed a, fall and die, prayer on the demon, the demon still refused to listen to her. The more Mrs. Edidiong struggled with the creature, the weaker she became. It was just like a cat struggling with an elephant. She cried for help but no one could hear her crying, even unto the Lord. It was as if her prayers and rebukes against this evil spirit had no effect. Then she threw away her Bible and started crying and begging the demon for mercy. Mrs. Edidiong, please mum, what have I done to you? Please leave me alone, I don't want to go with you. Demon, you must come with me, you fool because you are mine. Mrs. Edidiong, I reject that in Jesus' name. I belong to Jesus. Demon, if you belong to him, why hasn't he come to save you from my hand? You think you can serve God and mammon. Haven't you heard that a little yeast defiled a whole dough? So you belong to me because your little uncleanness has defiled your whole righteousness. Come and let's go. Mrs. Edidiong, no, I am born again washed in the blood of the Lamb, and I can never have any relationship with darkness because I am of the light. Demon, oh shut up, you fool. Don't you know I am in you and you are in me and that has made us equal. Mrs. Edidiong, who are you? Demon, I am Jezebel, the spirit of immorality. No one has ever entered my trap and escaped it. Mrs. Edidiong, I didn't commit any immoral act. I have stopped dressing worldly. I have repented from all immoral acts. I'm only married to my husband Yuda Babasi and I never know any other man apart from him. Demon, but you still hold on to my teachings and ideas, Reverend 220. What about the one you perform on your marriage bed with your husband? You have indeed stopped watching pornography even since you said you want to go with that righteousness. Revelation 220 Notwithstanding I have a few things against you because you suffer that woman Jezebel, which calls herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication, and to eat things sacrificed to idols. But you still retain the knowledge in your memory and you perform it days and nights with your husband. Those sexual practices you perform with your husband when making love are mine. I taught you all. Haven't you heard in Romans 1.32, they know God's justice requires that those who do these things deserve to die, yet they do them anyway. Worst yet, they encourage others to do them too. Anytime you perform these sexual practices I taught you through pornography with your husband, you are doing my bidding. It shows you are loyal to me. So you belong to me, or haven't you enjoyed my teaching? Now follow me to my kingdom. Mrs. Edidiong, please, mum, I am sorry. I didn't know it is a sin. I am doing it to satisfy my husband so that he won't lust after another woman. I didn't know it is a sin. Please ma, I won't do that again. Help Jesus. Save me, Jesus.
The demon won't even listen to her but as the demon was about to drag her into a very dark and burning place, a bolt of lightning came from nowhere and struck the chain on her and the chain broke into two. And she found herself still lying down beside her husband in the bedroom. She said, oh so it was all a dream. She realized the Lord showed her one thing that is dragging her to hell unknowingly while she was busy trying to save souls for heaven. She prayed to God for mercy and she repented from committing such from then on. This should be a lesson to all heaven-minded Christians, always ask the Lord to reveal to you anything in your life that can end you up in hell now before you hear it from the judgment throne of God. Many Christians are in hell today because of sin they never count to be sin whereas there is no excuse before the throne of God. God is rich in mercy but when it comes to judgment, God shows no mercy. 1 Thessalonians 5 22 23 Abstain from all appearance of evil. 23 And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a great warning to all married Christian couples who are seeking to get to heaven. Oral and anal sex are properties of Jezebel the demon. Mrs. Edidiong comes from the Federal Republic of Nigeria and